Hello everyone, welcome to today's YouTube video where I'm using the Shopify Partners platform to create an online store for the bread and butter project. Now, without much further ado, um, so basically this is just the platform and at the left side you can see all the menu there. I'm just going to go ahead and start with um, creating a store. So create a store and I would be choosing to create a store to test and build so that I can be pretty much be able to do certain things that I want and it should also be done in such a way that I can transfer it. I'm going to give it a name, store name, bread and butter. And for some reason, I tried earlier on uh, before making this video and it was already taken. So I just had to tweak the name, tweak the name in a little bit. We have bread and butter as the store name and we'll keep everything as default because i want to be able to maybe give it to someone who might be interested in using the store uh, for free obviously so get the get that store created create create we'll hit the create development store and then i don't know for some reason it takes some ages whenever i do this and um, to create the store uh, in the back end i don't know if something down to the internet or if it's something down to shopify but I'm pretty sure it takes some time to create the store. So we have our Shopify store ready and it's basically the first page where you're interested in trying to see. So what's my admin URL? How do I, if I ever want to do anything, how can I get into logging into the store to make any changes? And this is the platform and you're always greeted with the initial setup guide where you'd be asked that there are six stacks that you need to do and in order to hit the ground running and um, maybe if you want to go live so it's basically add your first product to create a, add a custom domain set up shop by payments set up your shipping rates and add sharing details so these are some of the things that if you re if you recall from uh, the project's uh, objectives that we needed to achieve and it's basically straight on uh, when you when you get the platform up and running so at the left page on the left panel you have all this you have all this menu and options that you can use to explore how to get everything up and running so and you can see on the products section we have inventory and we have catalogs where if you want to group specific kinds of products and that's where you keep them and you have customer management system, which is inbuilt into Shopify, where you, if anyone ever purchased something on your store, their details will come up here. And if you ever needed to send an email to them about an order or something. And the content section, I have not really explored that set that site yet, but I understand that you can use it to create certain files and documents that you need if you want to plan uh, certain updates uh, on your page uh, in the future and this is one very important bit of shopify that i think is very very uh, resourceful that you might not even need to add external analytic applications like maybe google analytics or etc shopify already has its own inbuilt analytics they can use to track you know activity on your web store and we have various different kinds of reports that you can use in order to understand how activity is going on on your store like uh, how many people are really adding things to cars and you're not know, checking out you know things like that what's the cost of goods sold and how many people keep on coming back to buy stuff from your from the shop and um, what's your cost sales you know things like that just to understand the business side of it and this is also another interesting part where you have the live view where if anyone is live on your store you can literally see where they are in the world and uh, using that that globe and we have some marketing tools integrated into shopify platform as well where you can create campaigns and you can monitor some metrics like how are people um properly visiting the site and reaching the end to convert like what have you put in place to make sure that people are engaged throughout the whole user experience to buy a product and you have some marketing apps as well that you might want to integrate and if you look at how the campaigns is going to be set up and uh, we'll be talking more about that in details at other videos and we have automations as well so shopify already has its own 
in build automation systems where if someone adds something to cart and maybe they left it maybe to change your mind or something they might have put in some of the details there that maybe if you have to turn on shopify can help you see if you can track down that person and maybe push marketing campaigns to them and see if they can actually go back to make their decision to buy and this is where we will be doing most of their you know content uh, on creating the solution which is the online store so you can see there that it actually comes with a basic default theme which is the dawn theme which is very popular it's one of the easiest themes to just customize and it's really spot on and you have other free themes there which you might want to use and uh, but from our perspective we would be sticking to the dawn theme because basically it's the foundation of, of trying to if you ever want to change anything on the dawn theme it's pretty much free for you can pretty much find so much content on youtube about making changes to the dawn theme and normally because i'm using shopify partners which is a development a developer platform to create stores that you can then transfer to someone else it normally comes with a password and uh, at the moment you can all see my password but at some point down the project i'll be changing it and then i'll only be getting people who request to see it to see it or maybe i might just make it public so if you want to see how their store really looks like as it's just an empty theme where there's nothing in it this is how it looks like skeletally you can see there we have uh, the home page we have feature products we have a subscriber newsletter we have some site navigations catalogs we have contact and at the moment if you click into that it's only just asking for your name and number and whatever you want to put we have a search button where you can search literally anything on the site and you have a card section but i'm not, I'm not going to go there yet let's just see if we can search for, so we're doing, you know, a bread and butter project. So let's search for croissant to see if we see something there. Well, obviously there's nothing there. So at some point when we put, when we finally build a store and we put in some products and we search, we'll see, see that. So this is how the carton page looks like. So ideally it's fairly enough, you know, something that you can work with. So from, from the spot on, you can see that. It's just something straightforward that if you start editing and it will bring in, it will bring it back to life. It will, it will start breathing, you know, some sense of reality into what you want to do. Another feature is the blog post session where if you are having a business that actually needs to create blogs or you can use blogs to engage your customers, maybe like for our project, maybe if you need to be sending, creating blogs about recipes, you know, showing people how to do certain stuff to, to invite more people to the page. I'm just going to show you something here. So like I have my own personal blog, which is actually live. And I'm just going to show you how basically a blog looks like, which is not a Shopify blog, but it's just, just, just get, get the idea of a blog. And uh, so this is my blog where I basically just talk about anything and uh, mostly just two minutes read about anything that crosses my mind. So you can practically repeat the same idea on your Shopify blog page. So on your Shopify, you have a blog post where maybe for our projects, maybe you're talking about things, discoveries to do with maybe the soil though. <laughs> we don't know about that. But maybe how to make a pastry, you know, like how to guide, you know, things like that. And back to Shopify, on the pages section, you want to create some basic pages that are needed. Every basic website has some sort of pages that you need. We'll be doing that as well. It will be one of the very first things that we'll do. So you can literally put in just basic word created stuff. Uh, so, or you can actually just switch it to the HTML view and uh, where you can just paste in maybe a code snippet of what you want the page to be uh, in HTML format. And if you paste that in that code format and you hit save, It'll pretty much just show what you coded it was just basically html document showing you know page breaks and etc and at the moment if you look at the site now we only have you know home catalog contact at the main menu the footer only 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 has search so ideally you know when you create a website at the bottom of the page you normally have you know contact us uh privacy and policy you know and things like that so we would be creating certain important pages that are needed to, you know to make the website look legit and that's it for pages so if we go back to the main page these are the things that we need to focus on 
up next we'll start making changes to the shopify store to actually make it look like a bread and butter online store and if you don't want to miss the next video hit the notification button and just as usual like the video subscribe to the channel if you like this content and i'll see you next time thanks